Next, we move on to the median. So, median is the val or median, the median of data is a value in the middle when the data items are arranged in ascending order. Again, the median of a data set is a value in the middle when the data items are arranged in ascending order. So, whenever a data set has extreme values, median is the preferred measure of location. When we say extreme values, there are values that are too low than the average or too high. So, those are your extreme values. So, the median is the measure of location most often reported for the annual income and property value data. Why? Because income has a very wide range of information or there it involves a wide range so there can be instances where there are extremes so one person can be earning a minimum wage and the other person can can be earning millions so what is uh, instead of averaging it what we are looking for is the median or what we are using rather is the median because of those extreme values now a few extremely large incomes or as i mentioned property values can inflate the mean so, that is why medians are used. Now, here are some things that you need to remember. For an odd number of observations, here, it is easy to identify the median because, again, it is odd. So, there really is a middle number. So, in this case, given this data, 26, 18, 27, 12, 14, 27, 19. Arrange it in ascending order. So from 12 to 27. Now find for the middle value. In this case, the fourth value. 19. So 19 is your median. So it's very easy to look for the median in an odd number. Now what if we are dealing with an even number? So for example, this one. 8 observations. Now you will see that you already have two middle values 19 and 26 now to look for the median you need to find the average of the two values again for an even number of observations the two middle values are to be used and its average is the median so 19 plus 26 divided by 2 the median is 22.5 so, going back to our example, if they are doing the manual way, so that is how you get the median. Now, if since we are using Excel, so as you can see, the data here are not arranged. So, how can we arrange it? We can just simply... Here, editing, and then... Editing section and then sort, then from smallest to largest. So there, it's already, or it's already arranged from the smallest value, which is the same as here, three seven ten, to the highest, which is four two three five. Now, what is the middle of twelve? So we have six and seven. So this one, <clears throat> so this is your middle values, 3890 and 3920. So it's the same here, see? And then if you get the average of those, so let's look for the average. Let's just make use of average because it's easier. We don't have to sum and then divide, so it's easier. Average is 3905. So see, you've arrived with the same value. So that's how you compute for the median. Now we also have what we referred to as a trimmed mean. So when we say trimmed mean, it means that there are, or it is, use when there are extreme values <clears throat> so again extreme values are those extremely high or extremely low 
values. So, it is obtained by deleting a percentage of the smallest and largest values from a data set and then computing the mean of the remaining values. So, for example, the 5% trimmed mean is obtained by removing the smallest 5% and the largest 5% of the data values and then computing the mean of the remaining values. So, that is what you referred to as trimmed mean. Trimmed nga ni, so gikwaan siya, bagitrim man siya. So, kana, kay para mawala to ang katong mga extreme values or dili siya maapil and i-compute ni mo sa imuhang mean. <clears throat> Next, measure of location is the mode. So, the mode of a data set is the value that occurs with greatest frequency. So, again, you already know what a frequency is. Ang mode, kikung saan na ay pinaka, dakan nga, frequency. So, the greatest frequency can occur at two or more different values. If the data ha have exactly two modes, the data is referred to as a bimodal. If the data have more than two modes, then the data is referred to as a multimodal. <clears throat> so, that's it. Then, mode, if you will just look at it, um, if you just look at the data and observing the data, you, you can already see that the uh, mode is the 3880 because there are two 3880. So, that is your mode. Now, oh, I forgot to mention here. This one is we made use of the average. Another way of getting the median. This one, it is easier to get the average of the middle or two middle values because there are only 12 values. So, you can easily point out that 6 and 7 are your middle values like that. But you can also make use of the median function so there is a median median function in excel so it's simply median and then you select all the data again you select all the data so this median can be used for either odd or even um, number of observations the average is used for only those have the, or those dealing with even observations the median function can be used either odd or even so still it would result to the same amount now how do we compute use or how do we compute for the mode so we'll just try to take this out first here it comes. So that you can identify. So the one in capital letters, those are the functions used, formula or functions used. So in computing for the mode using Excel, we make use of mode. There, make use of the mode S and G L function. So, ning single, looking for a single mode. So, mode, so you can see here it has um, multi or Single. So, if you choose a MULT, it returns a vertical array of the most frequently occurring or repetitive values in an array of array or range of data. Now, for single, it returns the most frequently occurring or range of data. So, here in multi, it this can be one or two if there are a lot. Since only one, so let's use the SGL, SNGL single. And then select all the, again, select all the observations or the data. 
So we have, again, as mentioned, a mode of 3880. So those, that's how you get the mean, median, and mode using Excel. So it's further discussed here. See, the average, here we made use of that, the average function, then the median function, the mode, the function. So that's it.